Hey guys, I'm here in a town called Palomino on the north coast of Colombia. About five hours, six hours away from Cartagena, closer to Santa Marta. And this town is a beach town. It's a beach town and I'm gonna show you around. It's, uh, it used to be basically an agricultural town where they grew bananas and did some fishing and whatnot. And now it's number one primary purpose is tourism. It's a beach town with no beach. So I'm gonna take you down the road here, down this dirt road and show you what happened to the beach and why tourism is really suffering in Palomino because of this situation. Let's go, let's go look. So the primary activities in Palomino are chilling, chilling with your, your dogs, drinking coffee and eating food. This entire road, which is one of the main strips here in Palomino, is just lined with hotels, guest houses, and hostels, bars, and restaurants. A lot of them are camping zones. And so the other activities are surfing, trekking, because we're very close to the Sierra Nevada mountains. The Sierra Nevadas are the tallest mountain range next to an ocean in the world. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's the case. So, trekking is very popular. Tubing is most likely the number one activity. There's a river here and people like to come and get very drunk and float down the river. And you can do that for about 12 US dollars. It's a very popular place for buying arts and crafts. There's a lot of hippie jewelry being sold. And it's a popular tourist location with Colombians as well. Colombians. Hola. <laughs> They're rather good looking people, aren't they? More arts and crafts. These bags are very popular. You see them everywhere. Beach dresses. Definitely the number one thing to do would be tubing on the river. You know, you have waterfalls. There's the Ciudad Perdida trek, which is a four day trek into the jungle and to see a lost city. There's local hill tribes you can go hang out with. There's flamingos at certain times of the year. Plenty of places to eat food. Don't worry about that. You're not gonna go hungry in Palomino. Lots of thatched roof places, totally not a fire hazard, don't worry. All right, and now I'm gonna show you the beautiful Palomino Beach, which doesn't exist at the moment, unfortunately. See, uh, the problem with the beach here is that the ocean is so high that it's actually attacking the buildings for some reason. It's rainy season right now and the, the rivers are really, really high at the moment, but also, but also the ocean is particularly high, so there is no beach in Palomino. And it's really destroyed the tourism here. As you can see, they're building they're building protection here to protect the, the buildings and to protect the other establishments. But the ocean's just pushing further and further every, every day towards some of these resorts. And so the word is out that Palomino is, is done. You can see here. They've got lots of sandbags here just trying to protect what's left of this building, which isn't long for this world. Let's 
go check out the rest of this beach over here. As you can see, they're, uh, they're building up some defenses against the rising water, but it's not looking good. So Palomino is very famous for surfing, but right now most of the surfers are going further down to more uh, secluded parts of the beach. This way and that way. Let's go further down the beach and see what we can see. That used to be a palm tree. And so now the tourists to get down the beach, they have to come and crawl. Yeah, yeah. Cr they have to come and crawl through yeah. these peligroso yeah. situations. It's a dangerous situation. Yeah. But we are yeah. having fun. These are pure adrenaline junkies, obviously. <laughs> living life, living life, life dangerously. Let's do this. Danger dog. So just think, there used to actually be beach going out maybe like 20, 30 meters out. And so every year it's been getting higher and higher and um, apparently the beach is gonna come back after the rainy season is over, the ocean will go out, but it seems like it's getting kind of drastic and it's really destroying the, the tourism here in the city because the word is out. And more people are now going to Castaña Beach rather than coming to Palomino. And here they actually have they actually have a Salino, which is one of the most popular digital nomad hostel hotel brands. And they have a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of beach property. Look at this. You can get a suntan if you want to come to Salina, don't worry. But Salina is very, very popular with people who work online. Famous with flash packers, people with a bit more money who want something a little bit more high end. They come and they stay in uh, in resort hotel hostels like Selena here. I went for a walk behind Selena and I found a park apparently. And there's chickens. Let's chase the chickens. How can you not chase a chicken when you see one? It's, I think it's in my DNA. One of the beautiful things about Palomino is even though there's no beach, you're still, you're still in nature. You're still deep in nature. It's quiet. It's very safe, peaceful. You can connect with your animal spirit, your inner sea lion or chimpanzee. Maybe you're a rooster or an earwig. Maybe you really identify with, an, with, the, with the mighty elephant or the mammoth, the woolly mammoth. You might be able to connect with that animal here in Palomino. Here we've got another, uh, another place, Cowabunga. Cowabunga is another very popular hostel here. Let's take a look inside. People making out. Yeah, there's places called party hostels and there are chill hostels. I usually go for the chill hostels, but party hostels can be a lot of fun. If you're single, you want to find yourself a mujeres to do some, some kissing with the tongue maybe. Check out this place, Cantasana, Cantasana Bar and Hostel. Wow.
There's a lot of fun places to stay here. And now we're coming up to the main freeway. And there's actually a lot of action up here. It's where the locals come to do their shopping. And, and there's a bit of a construction industry happening up here too. We'll take a look at that. You can see here there's a lumber and bamboo, furniture making, house making industry. And across the street is closed right now, but that's a construction supply site. So they're building a lot of bamboo huts, bamboo houses, and you can see the bamboo poles. Just to get an idea of the size of this bamboo. Huge. Just outside of Palomino, we have a lot of hills leading up into the Sierra Nevadas. And those are those are famous for hiking and trekking, waterfalls, etc. And they have the hill tribes living up there. And there's tours going up there so you can stay with the Mayan, uh, not Mayans, but local villagers. Here's the moto taxi guys. Moto taxis, whoa. Yeah, and they can get you uh, a ride anywhere you want in town or anything else you need. <laughs> um, and on the main strip, you're gonna have all of your local food because the tourist food is down inside the town. Here you've got your crispy pollo, empanadas, and at night there's cantinas and pool halls and it gets really rowdy down here. And this is the main tourist strip going back towards where I'm staying. The street at nighttime in the Noche is it's a big fiesta. Lots of people coming down here to drink, to hang out after a day of tubing or riding horses or whatever it is they decided to do for fun. We've got liquor stores, restaurants, bars, hostels, locals, yeah. and of course tourist things. People selling little mini hamburgers. Let's see the hamburgers. We made from the from the bread, freshly made. Oh, it's vegan. Vegan and vegetarian. Vegan, vegan and vegetarian hamburgers. How much for a one? Uh, five uh, vegan and six uh, with mozzarella cheese and mayonnaise. Okay, I'll take one of the vegans. Vegan? Yeah, why not? Vegan, vegan. Wow, so you're selling more vegetarian. Yeah. Because there's so many hippies. I love that. You're the first Mexican I've met in Colombia. <laughs> what are you doing in uh, Colombia? I lived here since two years ago. Uh -huh. I came for visiting and I stayed. You fell in love with Colombia? It's pretty. The Caribbean here is more pretty than British than Mexican Caribbean. What do you think is the biggest difference between Colombia and and Mexico. About the Caribbean? Or about the well, your general taste of what is the same and what is different. I think we are like a kind of the same neighborhood because we are really uh, good uh, physical looking, like really close. Mm. I, I, I have found, I met people that are really close, parecidos, like appearance, like family from me. But I think like the, the food, the gastronomy. The food is much different. Is much better. <laughs> it's giant. There are a lot of flowers, uh, mushrooms. Mm. And I think the gastronomy. Okay, let's try it. And a little bit of fun. Delicious. It's a totally different. College, golden collection. 
The Golden Collection. Golden Collection. Do you think they were? Golden and Legend. Where is this from? Mm, Club Colombian Beer. Mm -hmm. Club uh, Colombia. Club Colombian Beer. Club Colombian Beer. Uh, I don't. E Espartan. Espartan. Energy drink. Oh, <laughs> it's from the energy drink. Energy drink. It's like energy drink. Purple. Red Bull Tap. The Red Bull Tap. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, okay. Collection the Red Collection Red Bull Tap. I see. It's simple. He, he, even has a, he even has a hip sack. Check it out. The set fanny pack. Mira lo. Mira. He, monster top. Monster. Heineken. Eh, ten years. Mm -hmm. eh, I just became something. Look at this one. This guy. These are very cool. Eso es con ¿Cómo es que se llama, se llama eso? Chocho Diamante. Chocho Diamante. Chocho Diamante. Es una semilla de acá de la Sierra Nevada que es usada por los indígenas para la limpieza de así y las tomas. En el, en el Amazonas la usan para cuando la gente toma aguayasca y le hacen los rezos y la limpieza. Ayahuasca. Aguayasca con esta mm. semilla. Hey, help the locals out, buy them a beer. Let's let's go. It's time for some cerveza. Selección Colombia. <laughs> oh, the UV is coming, huh? Colombia, el partido, el partido Colombia. Tequila? Poker. Yes, poker? Yes. Poker. Oh, we're happy guys now. We got some beers. Your amigas. Colombia. Hola. Colombians. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Parcero, parcero. Parcera, parcero natural. Ah, so to Canada. Ah, Let's get a selfie. El partido. Come on down to Palomino and meet the mujeres and drink some beer, some cerveza. Mucho mujeres. Ah. Mucho mujeres. ¿Dónde eres? Aquí en Palomino. Palomino. Somos de Bogotá. Bogotá. Okay. We have some real Bogotá women here. ¿Qué más? ¿Para dónde van? Al partido. Any more big? No, no entiendo. And that's about it. That's the center of Palomino. I just walked a big square around it. You saw the beach, you saw some of the shops, you met some of the locals. I like it here, it's nice. Okay, until next time. Adios.